Welcome to Funky Science. I'm Professor TJ. And her sister Nelly Welly. And today we have an interesting experiment for you. Drum roll, please. We're gonna make a parachute. Forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel. But first, let me tell you something about this experiment. In this experiment, we're going to be making a parachute. Learn about resistance while making an awesome parachute. Design one that can fall slowly to the ground before putting it to test, making modifications as you go. This is what we will require. Identical pieces of cloth, a ruler, scissors, five identical stones or weights, string, and a balcony or a surface that is more than 10 feet to test your parachute. And remember kids, always have an adult present as you're doing this experiment. Safety first! All the time! So now you're ready? Yes! Ready to start? Yes! So we're going to make a parachute. Uh huh. And we're going to use these cups as like our holder for the parachute. And then I have here four hunkies. And we're going to make like different sizes of parachutes. You'll make the bigger one, have the bigger one, and then I'll have like the slightly smaller one. And then you see the difference. So, uh -huh. see, these are the parachutes that we have. So, so we'll take and measure 30 centimeters of our string. And hold it from the other. So, we need to cut four pieces of string that are this way. 30 centimeters? Yes, all 30 centimeters. Actually, three. eight because we're doing two, two, two parachutes. Four, four, two parachutes. So here, yeah, cut string, cut string, and then you cut on this other end. Then cut string. There you go. How many of those? Four. Okay. So let me measure again for my. Without cloths. Yes. So you will take the cloth. Then what I'll do on every corner, uh -huh. I'm going to cut like a mini hole so that you can pass the string. string. Then you can pass the string through. So one string each. Yeah. So you know how to do it. Then you tie it. You'll be fine. Yeah. Then for, as nearly well it ties that. I'm going to measure around my handkerchief about two centimeters using my ruler. Collect all the four corners of your uh, parachute. <laughs> Do you have all four like this? Oh, okay. Okay. So how is it? Okay, cool. So it always looks better than mine. Okay. So now you ready? Yeah. We're going to poke hold the some holes into the cups that we're going to have the string to the other end. Okay. So one. And be very careful. Two hole, three hole, another hole, four hole, and the last one. There we go. So there's your cup. One hole. Mm -hmm. And you have to be very, very careful. Two hole. Put your fingers through it. Third hole. And the. 
sparkle. So then, yes, take a string uh-huh. and then each corner pass it through. And pass, pass it in the order, yes, the whole. Your parachute will descend slowly to the ground, giving your weight a comfortable landing. When you release the parachute, the weight pulls down on the strings and opens up a large surface area of the material that uses air resistance to slow it down. The larger the surface area, the more air resistance and the slower the parachute will drop. Cutting the parachute will allow air to slowly pass through it rather than spilling out over one side. This should help the parachute to fall straighter. I hope you at home are able to make your very own parachute. This is all we have for you today. See you next time on Funky Science. Bye!